Hi, this is May's Design Corner, and while I have a little time, I'm going to share with you some of the decor that I have done in my kitchen for the fall. So come with me and see what I have done decorating for the fall. Now, in my home, I have a hot water tank that is visible, so I decorated the top of that as well and if you come on around you will see my next shelf is full of C-H-E-S and I love these little chefs chefs I just love collecting those and we're gonna and there's my cups hanging there off the shelf and we're gonna come on around here and here I have my cups here that I usually keep these cups here all year round. But because the seasons are becoming to come upon us now, I have um, will be taking these down, some of them for Christmas and, uh, and putting up my Christmas cups. Now, I love this. When prayers go up, blessings come down. No one like Nana, not even close. And Jesus well, I know you've seen that cup in a lot of my videos. And here is, today will be awesome. And I found this beautiful Hershey's chocolate cup at a thrift store. And I just added some chocolate on the top and put those little uh, candies right there on it. But the cup itself is very beautiful and it's a nostalgic cup. It's an old school cup, as they call it. And here I have my coffee cup here. With God, all things are possible. And then with that, I have the joy of the Lord is my strength. And here, my new cups that I just purchased while I was out is Rise and Pray, Luke 27, 40. Six, And this is Coffee with Jesus in Spanish. This one says blessed. And if you see here, I have my faux cake right there as well for the fall season. And then this is the towels that I hauled from Burlington. And they says, you are the pumpkin to my pie. I have one on each side of the counter. And in the middle here, I have my canisters that I made from coffee cans. I made these quite a while ago and I just painted them and put those flowers that you get from the Dollar Tree, you know, with the clip on them. I put them on the top of those. And these are just coffee jars right here. And I keep my raisins in there for my oatmeal. And here is a tray that I keep, two trays that I keep on here because one of them is, is uh, have chefs in it. There you go. And the other one I just keep, this is just a grape stem, see? So I'm shooting um, because I have a little time. I haven't did a lot of straightening up, but I had already done this. So I just wanted to show it to you before I have to pop out again. And in the middle of that, you'll see I have my mushrooms and leaves. Well, these little mushrooms come from the Dollar Tree. I found them in a pack, so I got them. I have my pitcher here with my fall leaves in them here. And if you come on around again, we're gonna go here. And right here is my cups I have that I received with my dinnerware of chefs about six years ago, I got this. And oh, I just love my little turkey. That's Mrs. Turkey right there. And Mr. Turkey right here. And then I have the gravy boat with the turkey on it right here. And you know, I have another gravy boat up on this side as well with the turkey on it too. Okay, let me go back up, down and finish this. And here are some cups that I hauled from Dollar General that has blessed on it. They're pumpkin cups. This one has blessed. 
That one has bliss, and this is just a plain, ordinary cup here. And down here, I have a floral arrangement and a pumpkin that I hauled from the Dollar General, and it was just a dollar. And then here, I have a faux cake right here um, that I put in a cake uh, with a cake cover. This is a faux cake, and I have it on my counter as well. And also on the counter, I have my uh, little uh, lady. She's a jewelry lady, but my little granddaughter gave me this when she was five years old, and she is now 16, so I still have it, and I display it out with my utensils on it. As you can see, I got different utensils on it. It's a jewelry lady. You hang your earrings and necklaces on it. But I use it in my kitchen as well because I don't wear that much jewelry. I don't have anything against jewelry, so I don't want you to say that. I just don't like to wear a lot. And above here, I have my utensils, my blender, hot pot, my mixer, and here I have my bread maker right here okay and then on this cabinet here i have my cups hanging off the edge of the cabinet and i got this little uh piece right here from dollar tree i found that is is kitchen conversions tell you how much a cup is a half a cup is the measurements on it the pint the gallon i got that from dollar tree and then I just put some greenery on the handle. Okay, so that's how that is looking. This is one side of my kitchen. Okay. I just want to share with you my fall kitchen. And when you come on down from here, you will see I have my kitchen, small kitchen table all decorated up. This is my small kitchen table that I have my orange uh, tablecloth on right here. I have the gather um, napkins right here. You know, these towels were at Dollar Tree, and they still might have them this year, but I've had these for about a number of years uh, from Dollar Tree, and I kept them, and I display them uh, during each fall. And I got these beautiful floors right here from Roses. They were $2.99 for a stem of five, and they are very, very big, and I love them. And I put them in this vase, and I, you know my vases are made from Tide Pods. This is a Tide Pod container that I use for my vase for the fall because the pot, Tide Pod container is orange. <laughs> and I use it in uh, my fall decoration. And this is a curtain leading to my uh, pantry and I keep that covered. So we're going to go on over. Oh, let me show you my uh, temporary spice some of my spices because I have two cabinets full of spices. Right here, I have a little, some little um, containers here that hang on the wall that hold some of my stuff here and here. And I have some leaves right there to decorate it for fall and my flower. And you see, I have my little thing that says, uh, we licked it. <laughs> So it's clean. So the little cows are telling you they licked that bowl. That's why it's so clean. Okay, so now, and I have my menu board here. That's one of my menu boards right there. I try to utilize every little inch of space that I have because I have a small kitchen, but I just love it. So I not, I really love it. So let's move on. And on this side of my kitchen, I have my fall decor here. I have my little turkey and my cups and my uh, towels that I hauled from Dollar General. It says gather together. And then here, you see my... Um, floral design and I have my floral design let me move the sign I have my floral design in a grater 
This is what I put it in, in a grater, and I set it on top of my shack machine. I showcased that shack machine an earlier part of the year, and I have a sign there that says, Hello, pumpkin. Hello, pumpkin. And I hauled this from Roses. And Roses has some good things, so anyone living near Roses, go and check them out. They have excellent Christmas stuff and also stuff for fall. And underneath here, you will see I have my hot apple cider, pumpkin pie, and apple pie underneath that shelf uh, there. I keep those there at all times as well. And on top of my shelf, you will see I have... um cups hanging and saucers there and they are usable i have a hot pot i have my cherry sweet containers there and these were made out of containers that's a diy there and up on the top shelf you will see i have my chef canisters right there okay and here are some more canisters that I made out of coffee cans here and painted them and put the flower on top of those as well and they have food in them so uh, I don't want to pour anything out but this is what they look like on top and we have what well, actually pasta is in them and you come down here there's my little turkey there my little cups right there and we come back down this way and then on top of my microwave, I have another gather towel and a give thanks that I haul from Roses. All of my stuff is, it comes from different places and I'm just so, uh, was so blessed to not pay so much for the things that I have in my small kitchen. I like to thank you so very much for looking and I hope that you like how I decorated my small kitchen for fall. Oh, and I want to show you my wall of baking. This is my wall of baking, my baking tins hanging on that wall. And I also got that from Dollar Tree as well. And those little skillets, I got those from um, Hobby Lobby. They had a marked down. And I just got a whole slew of them because when I have grandkids, I can wash those out and uh, make little omelets in them, little uh, chocolate chip cookies, little things like that. And I have enough to uh, make everyone one. So that's my wall of bakery right there. Okay. And this is another area in my kitchen. I have the spiced apple cider. I got that from uh, Dollar Tree. And I have the cinnamon sugar sign. I got that from Dollar Tree. And I have me a little angel right there. And I have my cleanser right there to clean my daily cleanser there. And the cabinet over here has two uh, little um, um, pine cones. And little greenery on it with the little pumpkins on it right there. And then across, straight on across, I have my sign that says bread. And I love this picture. It is so, so beautiful. And I have my little casserole dishes on the wall here that I usually make macaroni and cheese in for Christmas. Okay. And when you come on down from there, I have a sign, another sign that I got from the Dollar Tree that says gather and make memories. Yes. And that's what we love to do in this family. I would like to thank you so very much for looking at my fall kitchen and hope that you find some ideas to fix your fall kitchen. And I'm taking a little break now and trying to film everything that uh, I had done before I went on break and didn't get a chance to film it. And I hope that you uh, like what you see. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I would most appreciative, but the most appreciativeness that I would like, I would like to see you praying for someone else besides yourself and always know that God is alive and well and there's nothing, people, nothing that God can't do. If you just put it in his hands, he can do it all. I thank you once again.
Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And I hope that you find enjoyment in seeing how I decorated my fall kitchen. This is May's Design Corner saying, please don't forget to pray for someone else besides yourself. And uh, do God bless you.